Welcome back. We have a surprise for you today. We have the guys here with Five to the Five, and you are? Dave and Johnson. Dave and Johnson. And Nick Lobdell. Now you guys work on these boats a lot, don't you? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh -oh. uh, seems like it's um, all we do. <laughs> he kind of lives in the garage, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I used to anyway. I cut back quite a bit, seems like. But you're starting to let other people come in and learn how to do this, and you have guys that actually come in the garage and learn about this stuff, don't you? Yeah. You know, I used to live there night and day, day and night, and then Nick come along, and Nick kind of took out uh, some of the strain off my back, and I uh, just sort of kind of fell back a little bit, and kind of feels good to be able to do that, have somebody confident, know that they're there, and um, my wife was ill and sick, and she had some issues, so it made me... Uh, have more time with her, which I which I am glad. So, um, yeah, it's nice to be able to get away. That's great. Now, the event you guys are putting together is, when's the event? Uh, September 19th and 20th. Um, it's a two-day event from um, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, and then from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And the boats will be racing on the river during They'll that time? They'll be on the water. It'll be nonstop boat action. Uh, we don't have much downtime. We don't have time for it. So boats will be on the water probably every 20 minutes or 15. Oh, wow. And this year, so far, how many boats do you have that are coming? Well, right now we've got, a, we're at the count of around 35. And you have people still calling, oh, yes. don't you? Yes, we are. Oh, my goodness. So if somebody still wants to enter their vintage hydroplane in this event, they have to call you, right? Oh, they call us, they call, we call one of the people that's in our contacting uh, list on Facebook and on, uh, uh, in our emails, and uh, if you're interested, there's several names to call, but normally my phone rings, and Rob Holt's phone rings, and Carrie Strauss' phone rings. Well, if they don't have a number handy, what number should they call in order to contact Just you? go to Facebook, or go to our website, 5 to the 5 Vintage Hydros, or you're on Facebook, or, and, and it's there. Just, it'll pull up all the information you need to know. So 5 to the 5 Hydros on Facebook. 5 to the 5 Vintage Hydros. 5 to the 5 Vintage Hydros. Okay, so then they can find a phone number and call somebody to find out how to get their boat in the race. Yes. Wow. That's going to be a lot of heats. Are you doing like one one to one or 5 to 5 against each other? Oh, uh, we can have high as 6 boats together or 7 boats maybe. Um, we're looking for a big turnout of outboards this year. Yeah. And there could be 7 or 8 boats in a heat there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to it. So what's your role, Nick? What do what they have you doing in all this? Uh, I just do whatever I need to do. <laughs> I, I don't volunteer for anything because I'm, I'm in it all. <laughs> you take up the slack on everything, yeah, don't you? He, he should not be so modest. Nick is a key player. He does really a lot of intricate, intricate things that um, I don't have time to do. Nick really is a big part of this. I couldn't do it without him. I mean, he likes to make light of it, but I don't because it's important to me and, and I, I cherish his friendship. Yeah, he he's there to make sure everything runs okay. Yep. Anywhere he's needed, he's yep. there. That's awesome. Now with these boats, these are vintage hydroplanes. They're not made out of the same thing that the bigger ones are made out of. What are they made out of? No, uh, our boats are strictly mainly plywood. Uh, and you got your maybe some fiberglass cowlings, but uh, plywood's the main key structure. The newer boats are are uh, carbon fiber, um, graphite, epoxies. So this uh, it's a different world altogether as far as structure and the hull design. And they run differently too, don't they? They handle oh, yes. different. Yes, they do. Uh, very differently. Yes. Is it easier or harder to? You know, if it's a conventional hull, it's it's not it's not easy at all, no matter what it is. If it's a cab over, it could be as good as a ride as a new haul. I mean, it could be, my boat's a cab over, and frankly, it's a pretty slick ride. I, I, it's like riding on an air cushion, you know? So how many times do you take it out during the week? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would like to be able to do that. Although, I, I can. My boat is actually registered with the state of Indiana. I can put it in water and run it anytime I want to, but that's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot of work. You know, normally they're crane lifted, and I have a trailer that I built or I bought and uh, if I want to put it in the water, we got to put it on the trailer and put it in the water, and then you got to take it off the trailer and put it in the shop, so we don't do it. <laughs> right, right. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. So, now with all the things that you're doing already, you have a pet project. 
and I need to know how that's going with the museum. Well, it's called the National Race Boat Heritage Center, and it's coming along real well. Uh, Mike Fine and Jeff Ayler and uh, Ted Sullivan, uh, Steve Edwards, uh, Paul Captain Nicholson. Paul Nicholson in Rock and Thunder, and uh, Ron Harson, they are on a, um, a, a committee for that right now, and believe me, these, those guys are working diligently every day, and uh, they meet every week, and uh, it's coming along. It's obviously it's a big chore. I mean, if you think you're just going to start a museum somewhere, and it, it, you're wrong. It, it's, right. You don't have a clue until you get into the, the logistics and all that, but we're ready for it, and we're, we're getting close. And, uh, you know, if anybody wants to uh, help us and send donations to us, it's got to be made out to the Historic Hoosier Hills in the RCND in Brussels, Indiana, because that's our 501c. They maintain the money. But um, we are really looking forward to getting this event over only because we want to put full time on the museum, on the Heritage Center. If you was in my shop, I'd then charge you $2 for saying museum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, heritage Center, it's right? It's the Heritage, yeah. But that's okay. We, it's a big joke. It, we're, you're fine. Okay. The museum is good. What, that's what it started out the no. when we first started talking about this. Yeah. The conversation was a museum, yeah. and then you all developed it, and it ended up being a heritage. Well, center. You can blame the committee because I was okay with museum, you know. And then they say, you know what, we need to do the heritage center. I'm going like, oh, I'll never remember that. So is it <laughs> the hydroplane heritage center? It's or a race boat. Race boat. It's the heritage um, center. Oh, okay. oh, National Race Boat Heritage Center. See? Right, so it's race boats of any kind. Yes, it's steamboats, steamships, any kind of racing craft right. on the water. That's what we're trying to do. Oh, we're wow. just not doing that really broadens We're your not trying to do options. just race boats. We're trying to do steamboats and, right. and anything that they may have uh, on the river, you know, and, and that's what we're looking at. So we oh, want to create so many new yes. other avenues that you can yes. go down. It's just not about hydroplanes or race boats. It's about you know, different watercrafts that's been on the river for right. forever. So. That is amazing. And you're also looking for memorabilia. Yes, we're looking for it. We got a bunch, but we're still looking for it. So if you have anything you wish to uh, unlighten in your garage or something, we'd certainly be glad to uh, put it in our heritage center. I know you found some really cool things. What do you all think is the neatest thing you've obtained so far? Nick. Nick. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. No, the, the, uh, the boat that uh, we got to go to Florida to get. Yes. That's what I thought. And what is that boat? What, what boat is that? Go ahead, Nick. It, go ahead, Nick. <laughs> well, in the movie Madison, it was painted as the Atlas. Yeah. In reality, it was My Little Buzzard. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take it back to My Little Buzzard. The pain packed Little Buzzard. And uh, Tommy Foltz lost his life in it in 1970 in a freak accident. Right. But. Um, we want to take it back to the um, original paint job, which is gold, orange, and black. And, um, you know, thanks to John Freeman that was available to us. He was so gracious in giving us the uh, whole program. And, uh, but that boat was in the movie. Yes, it was. Actually, I worked on that boat in the movie, and uh, John hired me to work, and we I went to Long Beach filming, and I I spent a long, a long time uh, in that in that whole movie thing. And, and believe me, it's if you ain't ever been around a movie scene, it's you just have no clue. It's chaos. It's it is chaos, <laughs> yes. But it all comes together at the end. It does. And you say, how did, how did they do that? Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty amazing. Hollywood is definitely a different world. Yes. Well, I'm glad you had a good time with that. But now, are you going to be able to have the movie in the center also with the boat? Oh, sure. Sure. Oh, good. We, we, we plan on having, um, we have hundreds, thousands and thousands of footage of oh. film and Wow. Uh, old VHS and new films and I mean we just got well not literally thousands of feet of footage so we're going to have uh, some on uh, on loop different yes. things you know and we'll have maybe have a movie night or something you know and maybe have a nice evening to come down to oh, yeah. you know for kids so uh, we're looking forward to it so and you're still looking for a location but you're not quite ready to open all this right so right uh, we have several in mind we have several um, different choices that we can make. Um, it's, right now, our concentration is this, is this race. And then yes. that, after this race, I expect about a week off to relax, and then we're going to hit it right back, and it's going to, I look for something to, to break. So now, anybody that's interested in the Heritage Center, 
Who should they call? Give them a number. Well, I don't have that number of everybody, but I, you want to call? Well, if you want to call me, I was going to say this. Give them your you number. You can call me at eight one two five seven one zero three three zero. Awesome. And just ask for Dave, and I'm sure I'll be the one to answer. <laughs> Either that or Nick will, and he'll or hand you the phone. Nick can give you his number. I don't know. <laughs> so, well, as long as they have a contact or they yes. get in touch with you. And they can also, if they really don't remember the number or can't find it, they can also contact us at Kentucky Ann News, and we'll give you somebody. We'll get you in touch with the guys. So. And they can go to 5 to the 5 Vintage Hydro on yes. Facebook and uh, the internet. Right. Awesome. So we need to make sure anybody that's got uh, something sitting around in the garage or in a bottom drawer... They pull it back out and uh, bring it to you guys. It, it's amazing. You know, we kid about that, but you would not believe the people that have been doing that. Right. Uh, literally, I have no room left in my <laughs> shop. I have, I'm having to put my bolts in Paul Nicholson's garage oh. to get room because I'm so out of room. I, and I have a huge garage. Yes, you do. And I'm literally out of room. So um, we got to do something. But you'll find a place. If they find something, they need to just... Let you know, and you'll find a place to put it. Till yes, ma'am. Heritage Center's opened up. Somehow. Yep, oh, we sure will. Was well, is there anything else we need to tell people before we let them go? I would like to say something, if you don't yes. mind. Um, the um, organization um, has chosen to honor my wife. Yes. Um, who passed away June 11th. Yeah, I, feel, I feel pretty good about that. I feel I, honored about it. Yeah, that is. Good. She was a big part of yeah, all she that was. with you guys. She was. I mean, she was a quilter, and she supported me for years and in my endeavors and in, in, in boat racing, and uh, she never once complained. But, you know, the thing is, when we would go run our boat, she would hook up with her friends, and they'd go quilting. Yeah. So that was nice. It was a nice place to be able to uh, say, oh, you should go there. <laughs> and I would just go over here and go over here and do this. But right. we really had a great time. We had a good, a, a fun relationship with uh, with both worlds. And um, but I just want to thank everybody for um, honoring her like that. That yeah. is, that's really, that speaks volume. Yes, it does. About the person she was and that yes. you are. So. And, 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 and uh, something else, I'd like to thank Mike Fine yes. and Rob Holt, Carrie Strauss, Ron Harson, Nick Lobdell. Donna Denning. Donna is <coughs> Donna is the most organized person I've ever met in my life. She has <laughs> everything. I can just say, Donna, where's this? You go right straight and get it, and it's in a plastic folder. I've never had that. I really do thank her so much for coming on board and helping us. That really makes your life easier because the more organized you are, the more you can accomplish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, right. it meant a lot to me. What do you think? Organization does work. <laughs> I didn't know that till here recently. <laughs> well, anything works. Yes. It just is a little more efficient the other yes. one, the organization part. So, well, that's awesome. I'm so glad you guys came in today. This is great. Well, let me thank you for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Now we need to make sure people make it out on September the what? 19th and 20th. And 20th. So make it down to the Vaughn Drive in Madison, Indiana and watch the hydroplanes run. And we need to make sure they know what the cost is. Zero. Zero. And we, and we want to thank, that's, and that is due to the Corona deal. We, people in this town have struggled so, so much since April. And we just want to give us something back to them. And I know it's not much, but at least you can come down and not worry about taking money out of your pocket. To, we just thank you all. It'll be a great event that you can get outside. Just social distance during the event, and everything will be great. So, make it out to Bond Drive, and then watch the hydroplanes run from 10 to noon, and then from 1 to 5 on Saturday and Sunday. And like they said, it's free. It's a nice event, so try to make it out. We greatly appreciate our sponsors that make all of this possible, and we thank you for watching. Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself, you'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We're just two miles from Madison, Indiana and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park and Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to seeing you.